Yeah, Yo, what's good guys? Your boy Virtue Q. Uh, what's the day? Today is uh, day four, week four. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some shoulders and some cardio. Maybe some abs if we can in there. If not, it's no big deal. But uh, yeah. How you feeling, buddy? I'm good, let's go. Almost done week four. This week's, this week's just flying by. The weeks just keep flying by. Yeah. Anyway, we're at the gym. About to get in here right now. Get this workout in. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then tomorrow's the most important day, leg day. Yeah. yeah. Alright, and we're gonna get in here, guys. Alright, what's up guys? So, as stated, we're doing some shoulders today, and as you can see here, we're doing some warming up and some stretches. Well, actually not so much stretches, but mostly warming up, guys. Uh, warming up the rotator cuffs, everything like that. Gonna jump into some shoulders here, speeding up the motions here. As you can see, uh, just doing some forward, uh, what do you call this? I don't know, I guess this is more just like... Some for forward rolls, doing so starting off with some small circles, warming it up, and then going wider and wider. Me and Chris are almost touching there, but yeah. So starting off kind of like with little circles, and then widening up throughout the move, and singing as you can see, feeling good in the morning. But now it's burning, getting it burning. Do it for about a minute, guys. Go forward for like about a minute, and then uh, you know go in reverse for about another minute, another 60 seconds. Uh, just doing some uh, neck rolls here as well because when doing shoulders, your neck is very engaged, guys. You should always try to roll out your neck, stretch out the neck a little bit. You don't want to stretch it or um, strain your neck anyway. It happens very easily even when you sleep on it wrong and whatnot. So, But uh, anyway, guys, jumping into our first move here. Take as long as you need, guys, for warming up and stretching. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, you know do what works for you, but moving into our first move here, guys. We're going to be doing some military presses. We're going to be shooting for four sets. 10 to 14 reps depending on uh, the weight you choose for the most part we shoot for 14 reps uh, as you can see uh, Chris really uh, pushing strong here starting off with the lighter weight still kind of like a warm-up set oh yeah make sure you're writing down your progress guys as you guys can see Chris is doing that uh, trying to show that more for you guys because it is one of those big things that you know doesn't get addressed very much when you're first starting out in the gym you know it's very important to record your progress and see how far you come when you reflect on it but as you guys can see uh, you know coming off the chest here the clavicle with the weight and going straight above the head I am wearing a hat so I bob my head back and forth a little bit so does Chris because you don't want to come right down with the bar against your face guys you want to keep it close but you don't want to be obviously bumping your nose with the bar I have done it uh, it's happened you know it does hurt but <laughs> you know that's just more not paying attention just you know uh, yeah but anyway just make sure you guys don't do that anyway as you can see Chris started off with a bit of heavier weight and uh, to finish off his reps he grabbed a lower weight so uh, make sure you make note of that if you guys are Hey, when the pre-workout kicks in, I'm a goon, I know, baby. But when I hear Big Willie come on, Miami, Will Smith, that's my jam. I got to get the dance moves in, feeling it. Anyway, this is our last set of the military presses, guys. So make sure you push through, record what you did, record your, record your progress, and moving on. Feel the music, get pumped. Let's go. Nice, straight over the head. Good form, good form. Yep, I'm going for eight. Where do you at? Nine. Good job. Good job. Uh, <laughs> you seem like you're like, you're going for eight. How are you at? Nine. Good job. Man, that's the thing of beauty, guys. When you're, uh, <laughs> when you lose track of how many reps you're doing and you're done, you're like, oh, I'm done. You know, Chris really was in a mode that morning, uh, really feeling the work. The workout here but uh, as you guys can see we are doing some seated dumbbell shoulder presses and we're gonna be shooting for four sets here eight reps uh, same thing guys you want to make sure that you're you're pushing the weights directly over your head you don't want to be out and out front uh, you know facing the or pointing the weights or shooting the weights towards the wall because that'd be more of an incline bench press and you'd be engaging the chest where you know it is a shoulder a shoulder move so we're going directly above the head engaging the engaging the shoulders but um, you know it's a it's a it's a good move, guys. Lower reps, uh, so you can heavy up your weights. 
Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, actually our last set. So it's kind of a super set I'm doing. So I started off with, uh, I think it was 45 pounds. I did the eight to 10 reps or whatever. And then I dropped uh, to 25 pounds and, and got some burners in until I couldn't go anymore. Really burning out the shoulders. Feels really good though, good form and everything like that. Uh, as you guys can see here, it's a bit of a combination move. Uh, if you guys have done our, our shoulder workouts before, we like to uh, intertwine these two moves here. So we got the dumbbell lateral raises. We're doing uh, five sets, uh, starting off with 12 reps, then moving our way down to six. So 12, 10, 8, 8, 6, as I wrote down there, guys. And then we're doing the front raises. Uh, right after we do a lateral raise, we go into the front raise. We're doing four sets of that with 10 reps. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm trying to keep my arms as straight as possible, locking out the arms, locking out the elbows, keeping uh, the weight or my, what do you call it, the palm of my hands facing towards the floor, my knuckles out uh, towards the sides. And uh, not trying to swing the weight, just no, uh, bringing them right from the sides here, right from my, from my side. I'm not bringing them in, trying to get any momentum whatsoever. It's a fully isolated shoulder move guys. I love this move and then as you can see here I'm dropping down from I started off. I think I did uh, 20s with the laterals and then I'd go to 15s uh, With the fronts It's a bit harder of a move the fronts uh, You know your goal here guys is trying to keep that body sway uh, Minimize as much as possible. So I'm trying to keep a flat back here. I'm not trying to rock with the weights I'm trying to control them up and down uh, Coming down with them guys is just as important as getting them up um, you know, you're really gonna feel the move when you're controlling it up and down, not just up uh, and swinging and letting the weights drop. You don't want to do that. Uh, if you can't do that, if you can't control the weights down properly, then the chances are it's probably too heavy. So uh, get your ego out of it and lighten up your load. And then here, guys, we're doing some shoulder flies. We're gonna be doing three sets of these, 10 reps. Uh, this move is a bit awkward if you haven't done it before. Um, as you see as you can see here I'm, I'm really just I'm coming out wide with them raising them uh, coming from below my you can see you can stand up with this but I find when you're sitting down it just makes it it's no more of an isolated move I guess you're not getting any momentum whatsoever uh, Chris has come a long way with the form his form on this particular move um, you know he has expressed to me that it, it has caused him uh, some pain before so we're just we're really focusing on lighter weights and building up those muscle groups within the shoulders uh, to uh, to not feel that pain, obviously. But uh, nonetheless, guys, it's as you can see actually here. I was showing Chris because um, he was coming out a bit uh, wide with them. So like as I was saying, as I was showing him there, just come in a bit closer, have your knuckles towards the front of the wall, the the front of you, and just concentrate on raising the the weights up and controlling the weights down. Um, you know, it, does, it speaks for itself, the move. It is a bit of a tougher move. If you guys do feel pain with these, you know, lighten up your load once again, guys. Just get a weight that's comfortable. Focus on the form. And then over time, you know, your weight will go up. So as you see Chris's form here, it's a bit better. Uh, facing more towards the wall with the weights, turning it at the top. It's kind of like you're pouring, uh, as I've referred in the past, like beer jugs or milk jugs, whatever. You're pouring two pitchers of water let's say that that's more of a healthier choice and you're just you so you're coming up with them to your sides and you're kind of doing a poor motion so as you can see chris really feeling the move the expression on his face um and i think he goes to a lower way here to finish it up but nonetheless he still got uh yeah still got through the move or got the reps that he wanted but just finishing off here with a lighter way focusing on form and uh, really feeling the move. <clears throat> and then we're gonna be moving on to some cardio here, guys, in a second. What? I'm just in the cardio mood. Right All right, guys, what's up? So we just finished our shoulder workout. We're gonna finish off with some cardio. We got about like 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna go do some high and low. Maybe hard. 20, 25 actually, but it depends on when Chris has to leave. Well, but I'll anyway. Get, I'll get there by 7.35. What we, we just worked our wings, man. We just worked our wings, man. Yeah, man. We just, we just worked the wings, man. We just get fucked up right now. Let's go, man. We just worked the wings, man. So now we're gonna do some cardio. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some cardio right now and get a sweat going, burn some calories. Let's go. What? What did you say? All right. So anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get this started right now. Get a sweat going. But it was a good shoulder workout. All right, guys. If you made it through the shoulder workout and you want to do some cardio, burn those extra calories, you're more than welcome. That's what we're gonna be doing here. So we're gonna be finishing off our day here with some cardio, burn those calories because that's what we want to do. We're starting off with some stretching here. Uh, we warmed up already, so we're just doing some stretching, stretching out the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, everything like that. And then we're going to jump in here, guys. We're going to be starting our first move here in cardio. We're going to be doing um, 
This one here is the hook uppercut sidekick combination and you're going to be shooting for 15 each stance uh, total strikes anyway and then we're going to be moving into a four punch combination here as you can see we're going to be doing 25 each stance so you're going to do 25 southpaw 25 regular uh, whatever way you want to start and then after that guys well actually the very important tip here guys for this particular move is uh, make sure you're not banging your joints make sure you're you know your control you're getting your hips involved and um, you know it's fine if it doesn't look pretty guys if you're not coordinated it's fine just keep moving burn that extra burn those extra calories as you can see here we're we're uh, switching up our stance so we started off one way now we're, we're facing the other way and we're gonna be getting 25 so it's about 50 strikes total with this move really gets the sweat going uh, after a, sh a shoulder workout <laughs> you feel a little bit stiff like you're not as loose as you would be normally if you were to start with the cardio but nonetheless still really good move love this move and then this one here guys uh, make sure you it make sure you if you don't have good balance you're not comfortable with it it's fine uh, it doesn't have to look pretty but this one here is the three directional kicks and we're gonna be doing 24 strikes each stance and then after that guys we're gonna move into my, one of my favorites these are the side steps and we're gonna be doing 25 steps with little holds as you guys can see like we're not we're not jumping back and forth really quickly there's a little hold in between each step and uh, we're gonna be doing 25 of those guys and then moving on after that we're gonna have um, some swing kicks love the swing kicks really activates the hip flexors warming up the hips I love doing these before leg day as I normally tell you guys and we're going to be doing 30 seconds uh, of these. Uh, if you guys want, you can go to 60. It's up to you. Uh, 30 seconds, though, that's fine. Uh, really engaging the hip, or really warming up the hips, just feeling it get, gets a good sweat going. And then this one here, it's a little bit higher intensity, and these are the jump shots. We're going to be doing 30 seconds. Do whatever's comfortable for, comfortable for you guys. If you want to do 30 seconds one way and then 30 seconds another way, for you guys that want a little extra, then by all means do it. Oh, man, my jump shot looked ugly there. I don't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> But other than that, guys, after that, we're going to be doing tires. We're going to be doing 30-second tires here. Uh, so just pretend, yeah, pretend there's, you know, get those knees up. Get those knees up. Pretend there's the tire that you're hopping into. You don't want to be tripping over the tires, so make sure you're getting the legs up. Uh, you know, we're a big gas because we, we worked out before this. And then anyway, no excuse either way. And we guys, we're moving in with Chris's favorite, the Wacky Jacks. Uh, 30 seconds of these guys really ripping on the obliques, driving the elbows down to the hips. And then after that, guys, we're going to be doing some steam engines, and then we're going to do 50 reps total, starting off slow, and then later on as we get into the uh, into the, the routine, the workout here, this particular workout, we're going to pick it up. So as you guys can see, we're picking it up here, and we're going to be hit uh, 50 touches, guys. So every time you hit your elbow uh, on your or connect your elbow to your knee, that's a rep. So we're going to 50, and yeah, that's it. So if you guys made it through, congratulations. It's crazy. So what's that, 164? Oh, no. Yeah. 165 probably. Woo! Yeah, great. 165. Oh. That's what I weighed a couple years ago. 165 and a half. That's amazing. Steph, anyway. Steph apparently just lost 10 pounds. Oh yeah? What, with dieting? Just eating, man. Hey, well, yo, what's up guys? So we just finished our cardio. Look at this hat sweat I got. Look at this. Look at this. All right, I gotta go. That was like 10, 15. Peace out to him. Yeah, peace. See you later, guys. Have a good one, eh? Yeah. Keep it up. Keep motivated. <laughs> All right, Chris is getting in the shower. He's got to go to work. But, uh... Yeah, man, look at this hat sweat. Look at this hat sweat I got from that cardio. The cardio was insane. Anyway, it was a good workout, burned a lot of calories. Uh, Chris got to go to work. I'm going to finish off with uh, some more shoulder exercises and some ab stuff. But uh, other than that, it was a really good workout. Like I said, guys, if you've got questions, you know, be sure to ask below. Um, just keep it up, guys. Keep pushing. Keep showing up to the gym. You know, may, uh, make sure your time management's on point. Get up early if you have to. Uh, get your workout in. Go to work, school, whatever you got. Or you can go after. I just I recommend mornings. I like to be fresh and get into the gym. I used to do after works, and uh, switching out to mornings was great because I'm I'm fresh when I go to the gym instead of using the energy I've left in the day to work out. Uh, but anyway, guys, you know please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to those of you who have. And until next time, stay virtuous. Peace. Stay or stay or course, young man. There's light at the end of the tunnel that you dig in. Angels carry you to land Pass what you see, what you know and where you're living Stay or stay your course, young man There's light at the end of the tunnel that you dig in